Hi there! In this video, I am going to share with you how I made the Eucharistic Cross Wall Decor. The design of this project was inspired from different artistic sources, from the Gothic Cathedral-inspired bricks, to the wooden blocks, and the monstrance of the Catholic Blessed Sacrament. Please do note that this is not a how-to video, but merely a slideshow of pictures and videos showing how I made the Eucharistic Cross Wall Decor. No measurements or templates are provided in this video. For the materials, I used a slab of half-inch thick of plywood, wooden blocks of different sizes, an illustration board, plastic gemstones, gray and white acrylic paint, gold acrylic paint, bamboo skewers, popsicle sticks, white PVC glue, wood glue, clear epoxy glue, and tissue paper mache sheets for the bricks. You can refer to my how-to video if you want to make your own tissue paper mache sheets. For the tools, I use a ruler, a pair of scissors, some cutters, a cutting board, paint brushes, and tweezers. Let's get started! First, I drew a cross in the middle of the plywood slab. I made sure that the cross is placed in the center, giving enough space for a border made of small wooden blocks, which I plan to add later. After getting the desired cross shape, I erased the incorrect guidelines. Next, I drew and cut strips of illustration board to form the outline of the cross. I slowly place the outline strips on their desired place, making sure that they are precisely cut and measured. I started gluing the strips to create the outline of the cross. The cross outline is now complete. Next, I painted the outline and the cross with white acrylic paint. I also made this Art Deco cross center out of illustration board. I then glued this in the center of the cross. Lastly, I painted this Art Deco design with white acrylic paint.
I started with the monstrance by making two circles, or donuts, one smaller than the other. By using different items at home, such as saucers and drinking bottles, I drew the circles on the illustration board. After drawing the circles or donuts, I went ahead and cut them. I started cutting the smaller circle first. I made sure that the smaller circle perfectly fits on top of the bigger circle. I went ahead and cut the bigger circle as well. Placing the smaller circle over the bigger one gives it a perfect fit. I glued the smaller circle over the bigger one. Next, I added plastic gemstones to give the monstrance the gem-encrusted texture and design I wanted it to have. Lastly, I place white glue on the circumference of the circles to seal it. For the rays of the monstrance, I started cutting 8 pieces of bamboo skewers. Next, I cut the popsicle sticks in their respective length, shorter than the bamboo skewers, to form the remaining rays.
I use a nail file to smoothen the edges. I cut the rays into thinner strips. I also cut a diagonal tip for each popsicle stick race. I continued cutting more popsicle stick strips in varying lengths. I ended up having 8 popsicle stick strips for each bamboo skewer ray. I made 8 batches of popsicle stick strip rays with a total of 64 rays. With a 16-pointed guide, I started to glue the 8 bamboo skewers at the back of the circle for the donut, forming the 8 primary rays of the monstrance. Next, I started gluing the popsicle stick rays as well. I then started painting the monstrance with acrylic gold paint. Using some spare leaf design accessory spacers, I flattened them out and painted them with gold acrylic paint. I glued this leaf design spacer on top of each bamboo skewer near the circle area, then topped it with a crystal rhinestone.
Next, I added smaller crystal rhinestones on the leaf design. And just a tip, I use nail art crystal rhinestones. I glued these very small crystal rhinestones on top of the gold painted gemstones of the circle of the monstrance. The crystal encrusted golden monstrance is now complete. For the wooden blocks, I used 1x1 one one and 1x2 one wood sticks and cut them into sizes of half an inch, 3 fourths of an inch, and 1 inch varying lengths. I randomly assembled each wooden block to form the frame. Before gluing the wooden blocks, I added a 2 inch border and painted it with white acrylic paint. Once the acrylic paint is dry, I glued the wooden blocks to form the frame. For the bricks, I started cutting the tissue paper mache sheets into measured strips. Starting at the top part, I started cutting equal sized bricks, placed them into position, and glued them. After gluing all the bricks, I started painting each brick with gray and light gray colors. Painting over a tissue paper mache is easy with acrylic paint as the tissue paper easily absorbs the paint.
Using a mixture of half water and half white PVC glue, I applied a layer of protective film over the bricks. I also did the same with the wooden blocks to give them that extra layer of protection and shine. Thanks for watching!